Morning guys, G2P angler Jason Reese here, out fishing my first tournament, out here with a couple of great guys just uh, south of Hillsboro Inlet. Got Brian on his boat today, JJ, down here working the kites, we got some pro anglers, John, Evan, Oscar, meat fish tournament today for uh, our kids school, we've got um, three fish total, total weight, tuna, mahi, wahoo, cobia, Blackfin tuna, hopefully. So we're uh, gonna do our best. We some run, run the kites, live baits today, and we uh, back to Sands by uh, three o'clock for the weigh-in. All right, third bait, third and last bait going out. Six lines on two kites. First, first fish just hit. Trying to get tied out of the clip. I got short, I think. I got mid. Uh, I, I think maybe I have mid, let's mid. see. Yeah, you, you've short. got short. Got the first one on. We thought he blew it, but he I didn't. Know. It was just uh, like a big, big wahoo bit yeah. through the wire. So hooking all gone. Yeah. Tough, tough break for the first fish, but they're they're out here. Yeah, dolphin. <laughs> Double hook up. Two dolphin. All right, is this going to be a flipper? Every fish out here. Every fish, yeah, then, then, I mean, this is like a flipper to me. Go ahead. So we caught a few small mahi here, and then Evan caught a nicer 12-pound mahi off the uh, bow on a flat line that we didn't capture on the on the GoPros. But we had a couple of ma couple of mahi, one decent one to weigh in, but we're still on the hunt for some bigger fish. All right, so we finished our first drift, uh, two mahi, and we lost our first uh, biggest fish. We we're debating whether it was still a, a wahoo or a sailfish, but either way, bit through or broke off the uh, the wire. We're reset back here. We got. Uh, Looking very pretty, 150 feet of water, and a nice drift to the north. We're drifting about two and a half knots to the north. Yep, Captain Brian's all over it. Got two kites heading back out, about to put the baits back on. Short, 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 short. short. Sailfish on for Oscar. Is this one the short? Winding. Keep the line up, look right good, you're good there. Stop right there. Don't, don't, on it. Winding. He's running. You got this one? You have one on? I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's getting tight. Off, off, off. Oh, thank God. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm on. Give me that. Twelve minutes later, we finally got this fish up close to the boat. It's a nice sailfish. Some would say that's a waste of tournament time. Uh, debatable. Still, still, it was a good time catching sailfish. <laughs> 
everybody's thinking this fish doesn't count towards the tournament oh, weight, and I'm like, I want to get a picture with the sailfish. <laughs> Wait, time I know. It's uh, still exciting. He's getting tired now. Come on up. You ready to get a photo, a photo Jay? Oh, I'm here. Oh, Hurry up, hurry up. You got the phone out. Jay, you got it? Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> oh all right. Good catch. Good, Good release. Good professional release. Good job, guys. Yeah. You guys are crazy. Yeah, for like so we already hooked two sailfish prior to this one. I, I landed one. This is my second. It doesn't count towards the meat tournament. My team's getting annoyed and I'm in the time of my life. Sorry guys. Nice work, guys. Yeah, look at that jumping out there. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> it's not going to count for our meat tournament, but I don't care. I love it. Yeah! It's a good size sail, look at that! Uh-oh, he's off. No, is he still on? Yep, yeah! Get on! Woo! I'm gonna come tight right here, look out! Look out, Jay, there he is! Great job on the throttles. Yes! I think he's getting tired. There he goes. What a beautiful fish. Gorgeous. Good job, Captain. Perfect. Is everybody good on sailfish now? No tourists, yeah, yeah. no tourists. So what do you say on the left shore side? So really asking to reel it out. Okay. Got it. boy, BK. Right. What's this? Yep. You're good. Right behind there, Evan, I think. I haven't moved it. Look at I like it. I like the way it's fighting. Still taking a lot. Yeah. It's a nice bit of everything. Right up top. I like the big wall story. You're good. So we're about halfway through our tournament time when something grabs one of the uh, lines off the kite and just goes straight down with it, peeling off line. Brian grabs a rod. 
holds on and this thing starts taking us on a ride. So the rest of us start pulling in the kites, the remaining five lines, and we decide to go chase down whatever this big fish is. There's a big debate initially whether it's giant wahoo or potentially a yellowfin tuna. So everyone's everyone's excited at this point. <laughs> the tournament winning fish right here. This is gonna be Hey BK, you wanna switch with Evan just give yourself a little little breather or are you good? No, you're don't good, do guys. it. Good. Don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. John I won't fish man. It's okay BK it's a it's a big fucking fish buddy. Alright like a hand big off. fish of a lifetime big fish. <laughs> no pressure. Not at all. Alright GoPro battery died. <laughs> Fight's still on. I believe it's a big wahoo, big yellow fin. Brian's not giving up. No, no breaks. Fish keeps taking line. He just, he just keeps going. Bleeding. Bloody. <laughs> they dumped a, dumped a good third of the small side. Asking for beers. Poor Brian goes over an hour of fighting this fish. I'll set the stage a little bit here. So, we had been hearing rumors of yellowfin tuna in South Florida for a few years, a few recorded catches. Um, I've never seen one. This was a big deal for us to not only hook a yellowfin tuna, but hook one of, of this size. So about two thirds of the way through this fight, uh, we do positively ID it, and you'll see here at the end of the footage, you'll see it's a uh, it's yellow sickle come through, and it's it's big. So this was a, a big moment for all of us, biggest fish that I've seen hooked through my life and the fish of a lifetime for Brian and, and the crew if we can land this fish. With John's expert boat driving and BK pumping this fish to the top, we get it to surface and get it to the boat almost within gaff range. So <laughs> we lost that fish. Let's let's run it back and see what happened. When we run it back in slow mo and talking to Brian, what happened? And I have these same these same uh, Abbott LX reels on um, on my smaller trolling rods, and the lever drag um, it is a little sensitive. So what happens is is if the fish takes a run, he turns towards it and he accidentally nudges the drag all the way down, and the line goes into free spool and immediately backlashes to the little bird's nest. Then he um, instinctively puts the lever drag back up, and now it's now it's knotted up, and there's no run for the fish. So, 100 plus pound fish against 20 pound test, and he pops it almost immediately, and it's over. But that's fishing. These things happen. We know they're out there now. So hopefully we'll get another shot in the future.
middle? Yeah, I see oh, the top yeah. middle. Oh, yeah. All over it. A matter of black track back. <laughs> you pulling it away from him? Down to our last couple of minutes of fishing. They can make it back by three o'clock, so we're trying to pull the fish away from the sailfish, hoping to catch one more king before we weigh in. Did you see his tail? Yeah, oh, there he is. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take it. Start one, start one, start one. 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 Go, 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 go! We'll get rid of it quick! We'll get rid of it quick! I know you tried to avoid this, John. <laughs> Let me put a little tighter, put a little more heat on him. What we can do is... Big swell, guys. I mean, I should put some more heat on them, right? Because we gotta, yeah. we, we gotta get back to the dock, yeah. so. Check our and I have never put this much heat on a sailfish on light tackle before. You're all the way at the black? Yeah. I don't know how it's not pulling out yet. I'm putting so much heat on this fish right now. I don't know how it hasn't broke yet. Your knots are your your knots are ridiculous. goes again. How is that not breaking? I can't, I'll, I can't. There you go. I thought you want to flip it. I, 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 I got it. it. On your side. You flip it? I'll get it. I'll get it, BJ. Just leave it. No problem. No, no, no. It'll be alright. Don't bump it. 
got to force them out of there. Why fish? Nice. All right. That's another upgrade. That's work. It is an upgrade. I'll be here all week, boys. Yeah. Look at those cutters. And what a finale for the last drift, guys. Way to go. Pulled back into the inlet, wrapping up the best fishing day I've ever had, and just really an amazing day with a bunch of bunch of great guys. Uh, John and Evan even humored me putting up the sailfish flags despite me wasting too much time uh, bringing sailfish back to the boat during a meat tournament. Uh, uh, we made it back to the dock with about two minutes to spare. Um, grabbed our three biggest fish, none of which we were particularly proud of. Uh, but you know, a weigh-in's a weigh-in. We were good sports about it. We lost our biggest fish, but we still managed to pull in third place, or as they call it, second runner-up. Great tournament, great day. Special thanks to the WA tournament organizers, Trey at Big Dog Tackle, and to my team, JJ, Oscar, Brian, Evan, John. Guys and, the guys and your families, totally amazing. Thanks for making my first tournament so spectacular. Until next time, thanks for watching.